fill out the best tool for integrated forms and now also Calendly Alternative is just releasing a new feature to be able to create your own custom Stripe order forms. Now, if you're collecting payments from Stripe, there's a few different ways that you can capture that information. Sometimes you're using a tool like Lemon Squeezy, but the unfortunate part is that they're charging a percentage, a cut, on top of your hard-earned money, so you're paying Lemon Squeezy plus Stripe. Fillout's not gonna charge a transaction fee. Yeah, you'll still pay what you're paying Stripe, but you don't have to pay an additional fee to Fillout. Let's go ahead and start creating our own custom order form. So in Fillout, we'll go to New Form, and I'm going to use a connected form in this case because we wanna have a backend database that we can actually write the transactions to. What's so cool about this is I don't have to use Make or Zapier or another automation platform to take information about my transaction to write it into our work management tool that we're already using. In this case, I'll choose Airtable and we'll press next. We'll choose our connection and we'll choose where we wanna write that information to. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new Stripe page for this. So we'll choose payment. And now you can choose if you want a one-time, a subscription or pay what you want. So subscriptions are gonna be recurring revenue that you're getting from Stripe. You could just do a one-off or pay what you want. It might just be some kind of resource that you're giving away, but if you make a little money on the side, great. Let's start by choosing a one-time payment. We'll give it a name, a description, a price. You can change the currency and we can add an image if we want to. Let's add that payment page. And here's what this looks like by default. Now this might be your first time authenticating to Stripe. So you'll click a button to authenticate or you could choose a new account here and press continue. Now with Fillout, you have the option to add multiple different pages here. So you could collect information in advance of actually getting to your payment processing page. Now, if you only want to take a user straight to the payment, you could embed this directly on your site. And in fact, we could simply just delete this first page if we're not collecting any additional information. And we can also use Stripe's conditional logic if we want to add a page after the purchase event so we could take people to scheduling if we want to have them book an event based on that transaction. We've got some additional payment options here. One is to allow different discount codes and you can toggle that on. You see that little widget displays here for accepting that code. We can collect the email from our customer. And again, we could have captured that in a previous page if we want to, but we could do that directly on the form itself. We've got this handy option to pre-fill fields. And so maybe we have email, name, and phone. They're already logged into a portal and we want to pass that information with URL parameters, for example. So we could select URL parameters on the page, or maybe they've already submitted that information in a previous page. We can choose what kind of payment methods we want to support, and we can enter in our own Stripe payment description, and we can even inject data dynamically. Under appearance, we can add our own button text, and in the future, we can even add testimonials to help reduce friction in the buying process. And what do we want to have happen after the payment itself? Well, of course, we might want to send a receipt, so we could toggle that on. And this is where we'd be able to redirect people to a different page after the transaction has occurred. Now let's head over to our integrations to make sure that Airtable is going to receive the appropriate data. So I'm gonna click on integrations. We already set this up. We told it what table to write to, but in this case, we want to add our own mappings. So I can choose a field like amount paid, and then I can pick the reference for this. This is my payment page. And you can see there's a number of different attributes we can choose from. So now we have our different fields mapped and we can send that information onto Airtable. Let's test this out. I'm gonna go ahead and click publish on my form. We'll open up our form link. And now I've got my form exactly as I designed it. Now we can enter in our payment information and process that transaction. And now that's gonna write that information over into our database. So I'm inside of Airtable. This is where we could have all of our transactions enter so that we've got a quick, easy way where we can access that information. I was able to construct a link with our customer ID. So now we can click on it if we want to see all of their information inside of Stripe. Let's click on it. And now we can see information about the customer and their transactions. Now, a couple other things about Stripe and Fillout. We did a one-time transaction, but we could also do a subscription. For subscriptions, we can actually choose the actual subscription inside of Stripe itself. So here we can choose, we've got one called Pro. Here's $10 a month. And this is going to inform Stripe that this is the actual subscription we want to associate this with. Or we could also do a pay what you want. So we'll choose that option. And here you now have this option to choose the amount that you want to set. And we know we might want to suggest a price to our customers. So here we could put in $20 as our suggested price instead. And then here we can also set limits if we want to have a minimum and a maximum. Now we've talked about some options after the sale has been made where we could redirect those users or we could send them a receipt. But you also might want to send them a customized email. 
So to do that, you can go into settings and then under notifications, we could click on custom emails, add a respondent email, and then we can send the email to our main event ticket, choose our email address. And now you can create your own custom messages, including injecting different dynamic data here. And we could send this conditionally based on certain logic from our form. Check out Fillout's custom Stripe order form functionality today. And if you have any questions about your own automation setup, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.